Hello makers and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty. I go by Patty Mac Makes everywhere online. In today's video, I thought I would just talk with you a little bit about some really fun gift ideas for your quilty friends. And when I say gift ideas for your quilty friends, I also mean you. <laughs> Who doesn't buy a little something extra for themselves this time of year? I think we've all been guilty, guilty of doing that at least once or twice over the years. So I wanna give you just some ideas just to get your wheels turning. The items that I'm going to share with you range from really inexpensive to a little more pricey. So uh, I'll just kinda of leave it up to you what you want to share with your friends. Also, you should know that the items I'm going to recommend are items that I really use and love. I only recommend items to you that I really use and really think highly of. I'll also let you know I'll link to items in the description and I will also link to items on my website and blog. I'll link over to that blog post as well. So all of the items, they are affiliate links. If you purchase anything, through the links, I do make a very small commission. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help support the work on the channel, and I really appreciate it. To me, it's like a win-win situation. We all win. Okay, let's take a look at these items that I think would make amazing gifts for your quilty friends or for yourself. The first item, you see me use this thing all the time. I honestly love this thing. It has made such a difference in the way my corners look and the way I open seams when I turn projects right side out. And it is the Clover Point Turner. I love this thing. Once you've used it, you will never go back to using the chopstick to, to poke at your corners, trust me. I also love Wonder Clips. These things are incredible. You can get them with this little bowl that has a magnetized bottom, so it helps to keep the clips in the bowl. They don't spill everywhere every time you move the bowl around. And the bowl is cute. It's in that mint green that I really like. But the Wonder Clips are life-changing, let me just tell you. So they come in a couple of different styles. They have like the with the wide edge, and then they have some that are pointy. And the pointy ones are particularly nice when you're securing your quilt binding. So when you get to that corner, the little pointy Wonder Clip is great for holding that corner just where you want it. But you can use Wonder Clips for all sorts of projects. I also like them a lot when I'm doing bag making. They're fabulous when you're working on bags. And of course quilts. <laughs> Everybody uses Wonder Clips when they're piecing their quilts. Now, just because we're using Wonder Clips, it doesn't mean that we don't have a need for pins. I recently switched over to these flathead pins for quilting and oh my gosh, if you haven't used those yet, they are amazing. Now they're very thin, so if you are doing garment sewing or a heavier um, bag or something, I, they're not gonna work as well because they're very thin but for quilting and piecing quilting, oh my gosh, they're amazing. They're super long, and so you can set them up so that it just rolls right through the needle on your sewing machine. You do not have to remove them when you're piecing. You can just sew right over them. They're fabulous. I use pinning to make sure that my seams line up and it really holds that seam in place. So as much as I love the Wonder Clips, the pins are still needed. When I got them, they came with that case so I can put the top on to keep them all enclosed. And then when I take the top off and just snap it underneath, uh, what's really nice is this is also magnetized. So the pins are not gonna drop everywhere. So the flathead pins are fantastic. I also love thread snips. And yes, you can use scissors, of course, but there's just something about having the thread snips that really lets you uh, getting close to trimming those thread tails. It's really nice when you're chain piecing and you go to cut the tabs. The thread snips are a lot easier to maneuver through the throat of your sewing machine than the, the fabric scissors. Another great gift, and it's super thoughtful, is extra rotary blades. 
you want to make sure that you match the blade size to the rotary cutter that you, you're using or your friend is using. So uh, mostly we wind up using 45 millimeter and 60 millimeter size blades. So make sure that you get the right one. If you're not sure of the size your friend uses, just get them a brand new rotary cutter. I mean, why not? A rotary cutter with an extra package of blades is an amazing gift. Okay, so this item is like just purely for fun and you see me wearing it all the time in the videos here and it's this little tape measure necklace that kind of looks like a heart. I love this thing. I got it on Amazon. I do have it as a featured item in my Amazon shop and I wear it all the time and I really do love it. And several people have commented on it and I hope that you have gotten one. But super fun. So if you have a quilting or a sewing friend, this is a really cute little gift item. You might consider getting your friend a magazine subscription to a quilting magazine. I get several. I love them. They're all a little bit different. I will tell you I prefer the Better Homes and Gardens quilt magazines to anything else that I've tried. I just find that the projects and the blocks that they have are they're the friendliest to make, they're cute, the instructions are good, and I love that Better Homes and Gardens magazine. This is a little more expensive, but what a great gift. And so this one, you, you either are going to give this to your best friend forever, <laughs> or you're gonna get it for yourself. <laughs> that is a block of the month club. So there are several different clubs. You can do block of the month, you can do um, special fabric shipments from designers, all kinds of things. If you've been on the channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love Ruby Star Society. I just love their work. And so something that I have done for myself is to join the quarterly Ruby Star Society Fat Quarter Club. The things that I'm showing you now, these are all different clubs and blocks of the month and all that kind of stuff that are exclusive to the Fat Quarter Shop. I've really enjoyed my quarterly Ruby Star Society Fat Quarter Club, although <laughs> with all of the shipping issues and things that are going on in the supply chain, it's all very backed up and very behind. So you might find your clubs are a little cattywampus at this point. Hopefully that will resolve over time, but you still wind up getting these really fun packs of fabric you don't know what they're going to send you. It's always a surprise. And for me, it's like a little retail therapy always cheers me up. So scan through this section of the website and look at all of the really great clubs and things like that that is offered. The last thing on the list is fabric itself. What could be more fun than a jelly roll or a fat quarter bundle? These can be on the pricier end of gifts. So you know, choose accordingly. I think sharing a pre-cut in your friend's favorite designer or fabric line or something like that, I think that's a really great gift option. Okay, those are some of my gift ideas. I hope that gets your wheels turning and I hope that you saw some things you really like. I hope you saw some things maybe you hadn't really thought about. If you're newer to quilting, you might have seen some things that you've been kind of on the fence about. Well, why not when everything's on sale? <laughs> this time of year, jump in and round out your supplies or your fabric collection. Okay, that's it. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And as always, happy quilting.